Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today we're going to be talking about appeals of final divorce orders. Now there are other things that you can appeal in the context of a family court case. There are, uh, for example, appeals of domestic violence protective orders. There's appeals of um, orders that relate just solely to custody cases. There are other types of appeals that you might see in family court. But today we're going to be talking about appeals of um, final orders in a divorce action in West Virginia. Now, the, the main thing to remember is that you have 30 days from entry of the order to file the appeal. So what that means is, is when it's uh, actually entered at the by the judge and then um, stamped at the clerk's office, that's when your appeal period starts. So it's very, very important that you get your appeal in uh, when uh, you're supposed to get it in if in fact you want to file the appeal. Now, that being said, it's very, very difficult uh, to actually find any kind of success on an appeal. The, the legal standard for most issues that are going to be appealed is what we call abuse of discretion. So in family court for the most part, and in particular divorce matters, what the law is, is such that the, the court has um, a, what we call a wide degree of discretion as to what they do. And what that means is, is they, they're going to take a look at the facts and the law, and then they're, they're going to generally use their judgment to do what's equitable. Now, there are certain things that are a little bit more clear-cut. So, for example, um, dividing property, that's a little bit more clear-cut than, for example, whether to award alimony. Or, and it's more clear-cut than, for example, um, how a, a parenting plan is going to be taken up. So, but what that means is that the, 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 the circuit court, which is what you appeal to as of right now, the, they're really going to give a lot of deference to the family court on the decisions that they make. And I have found that in many instances, what the circuit courts will do is they'll simply just rubber stamp whatever the family court does, unless there's something that really, really stands out as something totally out of the ordinary. So you have to be very careful whenever you're going to be thinking about whether you want to invest the time and the money into an appeal. Sometimes it's work, worth it to actually appeal. I've taken cases all the way up to the West Virginia Supreme Court and I've won before. Um, but at the same time, you really have to weigh whether it's going to be worth it to actually appeal because it's going to be a lot of money, it's going to be a lot of time, and you really, really have to make sure that um, it's going to be worth it. So that being said though, um, one of the things you can do to uh, prevent an appeal from happening is number one, getting a favorable result and presenting everything in the right way, and or, or number two, coming up with an agreement. So those are two ways you can ensure that you're not necessarily going to get a bad result, but at the same time, it's um, there's, there's nothing is ever guaranteed for the most part, with a few exceptions in family court, you just have to do your best and put on your best case or come to an agreement, that's usually the best thing for you to do. And if there's any point I want you to take from this video is that don't rely on, appe on an appeal to fix something that you believe may have gone wrong in the family court because chances are the appeal is not gonna work. So that consists of today's video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call or send an email. Have a good day.